Hi everybody, I'm AZ Badfish and welcome to what I hope is a super short informational video that I'm really making for some friends of mine who seem to have lots of trouble with dying in Minecraft. Now, if you die all the time in Minecraft, this video might just be for you. So let's take a look at some things. So the main way that people seem to die in Minecraft is to monsters. So let's take a quick look at some of the real basic stuff about monsters. You see monsters, they spawn in the dark. And what that means, if you don't know how to tell if it's dark or not, if you're outside and the sun is up, it's probably not dark. But you can always verify that by pushing the F3 button and opening up this little handy screen. Now don't be, don't be intimidated by it. I know there's a lot of information here, but what we want to look at is you see there kind of in the middle of my screen where that cursor is, if you just go over to the left of that, you'll see it says light. And next to that it says 15, and then even more information, 15 from sky and zero from block. That means the sun is out because we got a max level of light, which is 15 from the sky, but we've got zero block light, which means that when the sun goes down, it's going to be dark. One of those numbers has to be higher than seven because monsters will spawn at light level seven and below. That means it's pretty dark. So you want to make sure that if you're inside or even around your base, even if it's outside, you want to make sure that it's lit up. Uh, but before we even go into the light levels, let's talk about where monsters can spawn. Uh, so monsters can spawn within 128 blocks of you, but not any closer than 24 blocks. So if we're standing on this block and we look out here, we'll see this red wool. Now that indicates that that block is 24 blocks away and monsters can spawn there. That orange block next to it is 32 blocks away. You see the developers, in effort to make the game less laggy, essentially, decided to kind of turn off all the monster functions once it gets more than 32 blocks away from you. That means he's not going to move, he's not going to turn around, he's not going to do anything. He's just going to stand there waiting for you to get close enough for him to move. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, if we look way out there, let's go into creative mode. Also, if we look way out there, we can see another lime green piece of wool. That block is 128 blocks away. So if you ever encounter a monster, if you run so that it's 128 blocks away from you, he will despawn. Monsters that are 128 blocks away just despawn. They just go away. Unless, of course, they've got a name tag or they're holding something, maybe wearing some armor, things like that. But for the most part, monsters despawn. So now that we know that, where they're going to spawn, how can we possibly keep them from spawning in the dark? Well, the answer is just to make it not dark. See, the game has these things called torches, and torches provide light. And if we stand on the block, we can see, hey, not only do we have 15 sky level, but we've got 14 block level also. That's great. And every block we go away from a light source, it goes down by one. That's pretty handy. That's a great way to keep mobs from spawning because it's not dark anymore. There's several other things you can use, such as sea lanterns, jack-o'-lanterns, redstone lamps, and rods, lots of things, uh, lots of different light sources in the game that you can use. You can even hide it under a carpet if you wanted to. It's really versatile, and it's super helpful to keep mobs from spawning and wrecking your face. Some other things you can do are just simply place blocks that mobs cannot spawn on, such as rails, or redstone, or lower half slabs. Keep in mind that if this half slab was up on the upper half, mobs could still spawn on it. But when they're in the lower half like this, it's just fine. Carpets also work. There's lots of other things that can actually keep mobs from spawning, like buttons and pressure plates. But all of these things will keep mobs from spawning. So if you're worried about mob spawning and don't know where they're coming from, chances are it's dark somewhere nearby and you should light it up. Or add carpet or something else that mobs cannot spawn on. So if we run over here and check it out, just to show you guys what I mean, uh, we'll turn this to game mode survival so that mobs will spawn and uh, we can see what it looks like. We'll make sure that we are on hard difficulty and that it's nighttime. Time set night. <clears throat> Now, unfortunately, this is a super flat world, so we're probably not going to get too many spawns other than, uh, other than slimes. But 
they they tend to follow uh, the same rules, you know. Uh, actually, it'd be technically we're we're at a lower Y level, so uh, and all these slime chunks are nearby, but that's okay. Pretend that this is a zombie or something like that. <clears throat> it follows the same rules. So you'll notice that these guys are spawning around, but they're not spawning over here. Well, that's because they can't spawn there. Actually, I think slimes uh, don't care about light level, but that's that's neither here nor there. So if we run up here, and as soon as he gets close enough to see me, he's going to come after me. And he's probably going to wreck my face. And there's a good reason for that. If you notice above the hearts, you can see there's nothing. There's nothing here. That's because I'm not wearing any armor. And armor is pretty important. So let's switch this back to peaceful. So that we don't have to worry about any monsters for the moment. We'll go back into creative. Whoa. And then I'll teleport myself back to where we just were. So uh, we can go get that stuff that we dropped. Now, armor is really, really helpful. It's super helpful. You saw how quickly that slime killed me? Well, if I was wearing armor, uh, he would not be able to kill me that quickly. Armor is great. It's a wonderful part of the game, and there's several different types, starting with leather all the way up to diamond, and it can be enchanted. This particular set of armor is not enchanted, but it could be if I wanted it to be, to make it even more powerful. So let's put the game back in hard mode, and we'll take it out of, uh, out of creative so that we can see the difference. Now, this is going to be great. Watch this, you guys. So our mobs are spawning, and if we run over here, we'll see how how much less damage we take because we're simply wearing armor. Now I know that it's not cool to wear armor. It doesn't it doesn't particularly look super fancy, but look how much longer it's taking him to kill me. Now if I just run away from him, he's gonna stop attacking me. And you'll notice that my health is regenerating. Or at least it was. And it stopped. Why is that? Well, there's another important part of this game. It's called your hunger. And if your hunger's not full, you're not going to be regenerating health. You want to make sure you're always at full health when, when you're engaging in battle with monsters. Maybe you're down in a cave or something like that. And the best way to do that is just to eat. Eating refills your hunger, and then you'll start regenerating health. Of course, it does use hunger to regenerate health. Uh, same as <clears throat> like running and jumping and fighting, building and digging, all that stuff takes hunger. So you need to make sure you have food to eat so that you're always at full health. But all right, guys, I hope you found this video informative uh, because I do know that I have a lot of friends who really needed this help. So if you guys found it informative, please leave me a like down below and a comment. Let me know your stories about dying to monsters and how it could have been helped by maybe eating or lighting up the area or just wearing armor. All right, guys, this is AZ Badfish. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.